no gatekeeping. I'm gonna show you how easily you can create good looking, unique glitch transition effects for your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Justin Odisho and I'm partnering with Adobe Stock today to share with you this editing tip. Using Adobe Stock, I'm able to search up high definition videos in whatever category I like. In this case, I searched glitch and I get hundreds of different results exactly what I'm looking for. Once I find something I like, I can license it and then begin working with it in my project. So a really cool way you can use these stock footages is to blend them as transitions and overlays for your footage. So I've got everything loaded into my Premiere Pro project and I can actually double click on any of these footages I want and I can even just trim out the exact portion I want. So let's say I just want this part where there's a cool flash. I can press I to set an endpoint in the source monitor and I can use the arrow keys to go frame by frame and then set O to choose when I want to exit out. And then I can actually just click this drag video only button to get that exact sliver that we picked out so I don't have to do too much cutting or mess around in my timeline. I'll drag this on a video track above our original video track and I'll just put it right in between the cut where the video is cut to another. So we have one video cutting to the other. Honestly, it looks kind of cool just like that, but the cool part about Premiere is you can set these in the effect controls panel to blending modes like screen or color dodge where they'll blend and interact with the underlying track to create cool, brightening and glitch flash sort of effects. And just like that, in a few steps, we've created a cool transition effect. Not only can you use these effects in between cuts, you can also add nice texture and color right on top of your clip. For example, like this grungy textured video I also got on Adobe Stock. I can add that right on top of my clip on another track, head to the effect controls panel and position and scale it, and then set that to a blending mode like screen, or in this case, I'll try something like soft light. And now our same video clip can get a lot of style and texture added right on top of it. We can adjust the opacity and strength of it and really add that custom polish and texture to our video without having to do too much manual work. I even added some glitch animation to the text you see in this video by using our Adobe stock footage and the track matte key effect in Adobe Premiere Pro set to Luma to make the text animate based on the brightness in the footage. Check out Adobe Stock for yourself today and give this editing tip a try.